Hey, what's up everybody? This is Matthew from Karibu Corona, back with another Market Watch. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021, and I just want to remind you guys before we get started that we are an affiliate with TCG Player, so if you see anything here today that interests you or anything else, don't forget to use the affiliate link. I'll have that down in the bio, and it really helps out the channel whenever you use that. Now first we're going to start off with these Galar packs that have just started coming out of the first partner pack. So what they're doing is they're releasing one of these once a month. So this month we get Galar. They're going back in order till we get to Kanto, I believe, in September. You can find these in your big box stores for about 10 bucks, and they kind of coincide with the 25th anniversary uh, binders, the one with like the giant Pikachu on it. And personally, I think these are really cool. You can go into your Target for 10 bucks. You get a binder that fits all of these massive oversized cards. You get the giant Pikachu with the stamp. And these first partner packs come with three of the oversized cards, one of each of the starter, non-hollow, but it has a little 25th anniversary stamp. It'll fit into that binder. And you also get two booster packs. And I believe it's one Vivid Voltage and one Sun and Moon, or it might be Sword and Shield. I don't remember, um, but you know those two are pretty much interchangeable. But what we're seeing here is those cost $10 at uh, Walmart, Target, or whatever. I've seen plenty of them, at least when I was going. It seems like it's something that scalpers aren't really interested in. Maybe because it's too big sealed and it doesn't really, you know, it's not really like such a big turnaround. But we're seeing that people online are trying to, you know, flip these for around $28 each. I think this is kind of ridiculous. I, you know, it's two booster packs. Like, like, you know, the, the three big cards, like, I don't think they have, like, massive, like, really resale value. I mean, it's cool as a collector's item. Like, I personally want to collect one of each, but I feel like because it's this 25th kind of year anniversary, they've probably printed a lot of these. So I would hold on and wait until they stock these in your local big box stores. If you're going to go for these, I would not be paying these inflated prices. Just a heads up, that is something out there. And if, you know, you need to get your hands on some booster packs, you can get two booster packs inside of those as well. Next, we're going to be hopping into the Battle Styles. So Battle Styles, we're seeing these booster boxes pre-selling. We're starting to, you know, running around about 170. Got a couple of people trying to sell around uh, 120. Just a reminder, this set does release in two days. So keep in mind about that. It might be showing up in your stores. Go ahead and check that out, see if you can open some packs. I'm not going to go over the prices because they haven't re really changed much since last week. I mean, they may have gone up and down a little bit, but we... They're not out yet, so these prices don't really mean anything. Um, I think the prices are a bit inflated on the uh, previews, so we're not going to take a look at those today. But just a heads up that this is coming out in two days, so keep an eye out. And go check your big box stores. Maybe you can find some Elite Trainer boxes or booster packs. Now next we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite topic, Shining Fates. Uh, we're seeing these down. Got to go to the second page, apparently, to find a real one. For 100 bucks each. On TCG players so not too much has changed since last week we are seeing that they are going for around 90 on eBay though so a little bit lower than last week we are like moving down a little bit slowly but surely um, this seems to be the kind of point where the scalpers are starting to actually be able to offload their products so they're not making as much as a killing as they'd like to but they are still making pretty good profit margins I mean it probably costs about 10 bucks to ship something like this so they're making uh, about, what, 30 bucks per Elite Trainer box. So it's not great, um, especially for the amount of time they're putting in. So if we keep at it, hopefully they won't do this again. Hopefully scalping won't be as big of an issue. So just keep up the good work, everyone. Just don't buy these. Just you know check your local game stores, pay MSRP for them. Just hold strong, guys, and eventually this whole scalping issue should be over. Now, uh, next we're gonna be looking at the premium collections. So these, you can pick these up for around $72. This is the cheapest one on TCG Player. The uh, tins, this is the cheapest tin. They're around $53. Now these cost about $32 with tax if you actually buy them at MSRP. So it's $20 more. Um, this is the best value if you are gonna be buying Shining Fates right now. Um, but I personally wouldn't. It's just not worth it. Again, just don't, don't buy into it. Um, we're taking a look at, it's kind of like, Again, this is kind of like the uh, the outlier in this set is that there actually is a card in the base set that's worth some money. We got the full art trainer card, Skyla. She's hovering around $50, which is pretty good. That's a little bit up from last week, I believe. Uh, also, quick look at the uh, tins that you can get them on eBay for a little bit cheaper, around $49. Bucks. Still wouldn't recommend doing it. We want to really, you know, stick it to them. So just, you know, 
hold strong and hope these prices will come down eventually if they can't sell them. We're going to be looking at some of the big boys in Shining Fates. And first, we've got the Charizard. We're seeing some of these sell for around $380. So a little bit under 400 so it is like still slowly making its way down. It was a little bit over 400 last week, and it started at 650 So we know it has taken a massive hit from where it started. And, you know, as the price of Shining Fate slowly comes down, so will the cost of the singles. And this card is being, this set is being lofted by this card. This is the, you know, really the only card that will get you your money back on any product you buy. So just keep that in mind, like unless you're playing this Charizard and like a Skyla plus something else or, a, you know, a Suicune plus something else, like you're not getting your money back on this set. So just hold out and wait for it to be a decent price. Like, you know, it's going to be, fate. I would equate Shining Fates more to Champion's Path than I would Hidden Fates. I think Hidden Fates had more value in it. So this is, I would equate this more to Champion's Path when you're thinking about it as like a purchase opportunity. So we're just going to take a look at these kind of these, you know, these next cards. We've got the Suicune hovering around $55. We've got the Ditto V Max Shiny hovering around $37, $38. We've got the Eternatus V Max with the uh, black and gold over here hovering around $28. We have the other Eternatus V um, at around $24. And we've got the Lapras VMAX Shiny hovering around $20. After that, everything kind of falls down below. There's a couple other cards in the $10 to $20 range, but I didn't want to go through all of them. So again, this set does seem like it's losing a lot of value. It's not really holding up. Like, you know, Vivid Voltage almost seems like a better buy at this point, and it's significantly cheaper. So just keep that in mind. And also a lot easier to find. Um, well, I guess the Elite Trainer boxes for Vivid Voltage aren't significantly cheaper, but you can still find booster boxes for around 200 bucks for Vivid Voltage. So if you're going to go, you know, cracking for value, that's definitely the place I would go. Speaking of Vivid Voltage, the Elite Trainer boxes are now shooting up to around $100. These were $90 a week ago, $80 three weeks ago, you know, $60 like two months ago. So these are very quickly going to the moon. We don't know when the reprints of these are going to hit. And the prices of the cards in the set are slowly like, you know, still going up and there's just less of this product available. So just something to keep in mind. The Chunky Pikachu is around 380 now. We've got some, the price war is kind of going down. I know it was above 400 a couple weeks ago. So we're kind of settling down around here. Um, the other, the Pikachu V Full Art, seeing it around $73. This is also on its way down. This was around $90 for a bit, but it's slowly making its way down. I don't think it was worth the hundred bucks. You know, it's just a full art ultra rare. Yes, it's Pikachu, but you know, the card is pulled more often. So it just can't realistically hold that kind of price it was holding for a while. Next, we gotta take our obligatory look at Champion's Path. Elite Trainer boxes for this at 90 bucks. So Vivid Voltage is now beating out Champion's Path for price. So I was telling you guys, you know, a while back that Vivid Voltage was better than Champion's Path, and it seems that the prices have actually caught up. Now we're going to look at the, there's only two big hits you can get out of the uh, Champion's Path, and the first is the shiny Charizard uh, V. It's around 275 and then you compare that to his uh, brother, which I did not open up, so let's uh, shoot over to that real quick. So he's got 275 for the shiny one, and the rainbow one is around 275 as well so these are actually holding a very similar price right now they've been kind of doing a little tug of war rainbow was ahead for a long time then shiny was ahead and now it seems they're kind of equalizing out i wonder if they'll stay around there it does seem that the rainbow is shooting up faster on the uh, listings above these so it might end up being like coming out on top again this is kind of like a constant tug of war it'll be interesting to see who ends out on top in a year or two Next, we've got the XY Evolutions Booster Box. I'm going to do something a little different. Look at a set that I personally really enjoy, one that I can't really afford to buy, though. Uh, whenever I open Evolutions, it's because it's in a tin. Um, you'll get, like, your one pack and some of those $20 or $25 tins, which basically immediately makes a tin worth it. But on TCG Player, you can pick up a sealed booster box. It can be yours for $950. So for $1,000, you can have 36 packs of Evolutions, which is just ridiculous. Um, for a pack of Pokemon cards. I believe these came out, what, five years ago? So it is kind of insane how much this is really appreciating. You know, booster boxes were, what, like 140, 150 bucks uh, when they came out. So it is kind of insane. And we just saw, I was watching one of these that was selling and it seems to have ended. Is it going to show back up? Yep. 
nine hundred and seventy dollars on a TCG player or on a eBay, excuse me. And uh, what a <laughs> it's just insane seeing these cards sell for a thousand dollars. Sorry for the uh, little eBay notification. It was probably telling me that this uh, listing had ended. So uh, apologize for that. And you know, just talking about like those tins, like you know, one pack of evolutions costs. How long is it going to take to find a Fifteen dollars per pack. You know, you got ten of those. Like, it's insane. You know, so uh, when you see those tens, keep an eye out because they have great value. You can pick some of them up on TCG Player. They're not at a really good price, but if you are going to pick some up, don't forget to use the affiliate link down below. So next, we're going to look at some of the big hits from Char from XY Evolutions, and most of those do resolve around Charizard. Had a little Foygen slip there. Um, the uh, Hollow foils. Let's see if we can find some near mint copies. Are running around sixty five dollars for the reverse, and the uh, normal hollow foil will run you a hundred and twenty dollars. So definitely a massive hit out of that set. You know, kind of speaks back to the old base set. Charizards look pretty similar. Um, got the M Charizard EX full art. So you can see these in near mint for a uh, round. $56, $60, which isn't bad. You know, it is a pretty big drop off. See, like, one of the interesting things about Evolutions is the price disparity between the sealed product and the actual cards. Like, opening Vivid Voltage, you have a much higher chance of actually pulling, like, your money's worth than you do in Evolutions. It's just because of Evolutions is so old and it kind of has that nostalgia feel that, you know, this, this set was cracked like crazy. So it's just really hard to find. The print numbers were lower. So it's just something to keep in mind that, you know, the sealed prices don't necessarily always equate the prices of the uh, singles in the set. Because, you know, after that, you got this M Blastoise EX, and near mint copy of this will uh, run you back $25. Like, you know, that's a massive drop off. You know, it's like $100, $60, $40, $25, whereas, you know, Champion or like Vivid Voltage is like $350, $70, $50, $40, $30, $20. $30. So, like, just keep that in mind. We also got the M Charizard EX, the other version, not the full art. You can pick these bad boys up for around $23. So if you actually are a Charizard collector, this is a really nice one to pick up. I would recommend picking it up. I don't think it's going to go down in price. This set is not going to get reprinted again. Uh, at least I don't believe it is. So it's just going to go up, up, and up. Next, we're going to look at Hidden Fates. You know, there's a lot of people who do the comparisons between Hidden Fates and Shining Fates. We see that you know elite trainer box on tcg player when you back 165 dollars and if we look that up on ebay it's basically the same thing these things are getting harder and harder to get and i think as shining fates is kind of not pr uh, proving to be what everyone hoped it would be hidden fates is kind of taking on that extra price load and it's interesting to look at the prices of hidden fates you know you see a sealed booster pack of this costing 17 or 18 dollars each and you know four hits like this charizard gx which is you know you can find a copy from some newly launched seller for 505 dollars or you can you know before you get to a seller with a check mark it's 550 dollars so this is kind of where people are were expecting the charizard from hidden fates to uh or shining fates to be and it will be here eventually i think it might actually be a little bit higher because there isn't much other value in shining fates this is kind of like the end goal that we're looking towards is this kind of 550 range. But it's also something really interesting to consider is that in Hidden Fates, there is no card from the base set that's worth anything. Like it's $13 is the most expensive card from the base set, like excluding the Shiny Vault. So it's funny that a pack of Shining Fates costs more than their most expensive card outside of the Shiny Vault. And we'll look at some other kind of Shiny Vault All-Stars. We've got this Umbreon at over $200, about $225. So instantly much better than uh, Shining Fates, whose second best card is 55. Uh, you got the Espeon over here in the 105 range. You got Sylveon over here in the $90 range. See, it's just like overall, there's just so many more better hits. And then we've got the Mewtwo GX, which is as far as I'm gonna show at $85. So I'll say it again, <laughs> Hidden Fates is better than Shining Fates. And uh, Shining Fates may get to a place where it sits around here, but I, I just don't think that the Pokemon are as good, right? You know, they have the Charizard, which is why, you know, it has that massive price point, but people care much more about things like Umbreon and Espeon and Mewtwo than they do about a Ditto and a Lapras. So that's that's just my cup of tea. Take it as you will. 
Uh, that's going to be the end of today's Market Watch. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use my TCG Player affiliate link if you're thinking of buying anything that you saw on the show or just anywhere for any games. It will work for Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Digimon, Card Fight, anything that you want to buy. Just use that TCG Player affiliate link. It will help out the channel. Don't forget that we're doing a 100 subscriber giveaway over on Instagram and a 1,000 subscriber giveaway once we get there for the contents of a Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.